Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 15th, and I'm back. It's been a while, it's been a couple weeks. Good to be back. Uh, not exactly back in the saddle as the, the title uh, indicated there. Just spent a good minute trying to remember how to turn on the camera. So, yeah, just two weeks and this happens. We got my uh, Stan Nokowski pipe here. Thank you, Christian, who kindly gave this to me many years ago. I love this pipe, and it is a wonderful Virginia pipe. You can see it's a rather deep uh, canted egg or large ants or whatever you want to call it. Deviled egg, some people call them. And uh, got my uh, appropriate October lighter, holiday appropriate lighter. And in this, let me just get this lit, I'll tell you. I have the tobacco of the week, chosen by the folks on the live stream on Friday, which is some Germain Brown Flake. Uh, this was jarred up in 2015. It's older than that because it was actually given to me, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, and you might be able to see there, there's some uh, mold on it. Yes, it's mold. It's not sugar. It's not bloom. It's mold. Uh, which is what comes out on tobacco. It's never sugar. But putting that aside, uh, it's white and therefore it's safe and people have been smoking it for centuries, so there's nothing wrong, nothing to worry about. Uh, if it's green, throw it away. Green, yeah, any color other than white, throw it away. And you know what? If it's white and you don't feel comfortable with it, throw it away. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just telling you what I've been doing for a long time. But uh, this is delicious. Um, I, mm, got a little pull through there. I know I've had this before, uh, but I don't honestly remember it. But just a really good, deep Virginia flavor. I know there's some burley in there as well, but uh, it's very Virginia and it's really, really nice stuff. Uh, probably due to the age, but it was probably, it's probably pretty good. Uh, brand spanking new as well. Mm, good stuff. I uh, I don't think I have any more of this in my cellar. These were, I've got a whole box of these little jam jars that were largely, I haven't looked at them because I'm, I'm, I'm playing this game where I just reach into the box and pull out three on Friday night and we choose one. So I don't know, I, I haven't honestly looked at what's in the box. Um, But I, be I believe they're mostly, if you notice on that, if you can see that, I've got Bob written on the bottom of it. Uh, that actually means Brothers of Briar. Uh, I was a member of the Brothers of Briar. I guess I technically still am. Uh, the uh, internet web form, internet form, makes me sound like an old man. Um, web form doesn't make me sound any younger, though, does it? Uh, anyway, it was a form. It still is a form. Um, and they had this wonderful thing where you could get you could join this group uh, that they called the Bombers, and every month we'd pick out someone and we would just all send them tobacco, uh, and it could be anything from a tin of tobacco to, you know, ten pounds of tobacco, depending on the person and the generosity and whatever, whatever you wanted to send, you could send. Uh, and I had the great fortune of of being bombed by them actually twice uh, over time. And it's just, it's unbearable uh, how much stuff comes in. For like two or three days, there's like 10, 15 boxes of stuff arriving at your house. And it was just, it was funny. Uh, some of the stories are hilarious because, you know, guys whose wives swear they had placed orders while they were, you know, the packages come in while the guy's at work and the wife calls them up yelling at them. Um, we had a lot of fun with that. And I, I was a member and... Uh, enjoyed doing it to other people as well. I stopped when I when I got sick. Uh, what was that? Seven, eight years ago now. 
uh, I stopped doing a lot of stuff just because I, I couldn't anymore and I, I had trouble seeing and just reading an internet forum wasn't in the cards for me back then and when I recovered I just never really got back into it and part of the reason I mean it's a wonderful group of guys and I wish I could but part of the reason is it's just hard for me to sit down and write. You know, I can I can talk easy enough. It just that's what I do all day. But to actually take the time to sit down at a computer and write something, which of course is what a form requires, that's a, that takes a lot more time and effort. And I just don't have it anymore. Um, I guess it's just a, a thing of, uh, about getting older. You know, I spend a lot of time all day writing at a computer, and when I come home at night, it's like the last thing I want to do. To be honest. I used to always have a laptop by my the side of my chair where I sit at night and you know, I would pull it out and bring up the forum and type and I would be on fly fishing forums and all that stuff but now the laptop stays down here that's what I do all my video processing on and stuff and otherwise I never look at it I, I just I spend too much time on the computer at work so sadly I don't do that anymore because I have a lot of friends over there and I, I miss them and they're not into the YouTube thing. You know, they're the opposite of me, but such is life, such is life. If you think you'd like to get into that sort of thing, though, by all means, check out the Brother of Briars forum. Uh, just Google it. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, site. So, uh, went on vacation. Well, first week spent with my uh my darling wife uh doing pretty much nothing it was our 25th anniversary week uh we went out to dinner a couple times we just enjoyed life we, we watched some movies and stuff we didn't really do anything special that was not by design we've been talking all year about a trip and you know do you want to go here do you want to go there and, and it just was sort of when the moment finally was upon us she had to go into Pittsburgh for some time before that, and we just never had the time to plan it, and so we just decided to just take it easy for a week, and that's fine. And then last week, I went up to Vermont and spent some time with my brother and sister. Uh, did some work there uh, on the house that they're in, and uh, yeah, helped them out with a few things. Went out to dinner with them and my niece and nephew, and. We went into Burlington, Vermont for some shopping and stuff. They live pretty far north of Vermont, so it's like a two-hour drive to get to Burlington. So we did that, and uh, yeah, just generally did the kind of stuff I do up there. I didn't really have any time to fish or anything. Drove back on Friday, and as I was driving back, like, Oh, about two hours into the drive, I felt like my throat was scratchy, and like another two hours later, I had a full-blown head cold, and I just felt horrible. I, mean, I had about three hours to go in the drive, and I was thinking, do I need to get a hotel room or something? This is really... Fortunately, I, I, I was able to push through and made it home. I slept for most of Saturday and Sunday, which is why you didn't see a video last week. Fortunately, by Monday, I was feeling pretty normal and was able to go back to work. I hate taking a sick day right after a vacation. It just doesn't feel right. So I was able to go back to work, and, and I'm fine now, but boy, it, it really knocked me out for a couple days there. So, uh, yeah, that was that was what I brought back with me from, from, from my vacation. It's a head cold. But uh, it's good to be back, and uh, I'm slowly getting back into the swing. Oh, you might notice behind me uh, my new friend, Bela. That was an anniversary gift from my wife, and um, I love it. Uh, he's obviously going to be part of the Halloween decor as, as we move through spooky season. But uh, i got to figure out what to do with him. Uh, you know, I'd like to hang him up down here, but he's going to get all dusty and stuff. And uh, You may not be able to see it, but he's actually set into a, a wooden frame, wooden coffin frame, and he's on a canvas that's a little bit proud of the background and the background is actually like a purple velvet uh, it's really very very nice very well executed the artist that did that is uh, a Pittsburgh artist friend of my wife's family
but other than that, no connection. Uh, we paid full price for that, and we're gonna we're gonna commission some more stuff from her uh, because you know once you got Bela, you got to get Boris, and uh, there might be a Spingoli in the mix. But uh, her she she goes by Kaylee Kaylee Marie's art, and she has an Instagram site. I'm gonna show you her card. Her Instagram account is ghost k a e dot art, and she does some really cool stuff. I've been following her for uh, for a bit. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. I've been following her for a bit on Instagram, and she really does do some very unique uh, stuff. Works with with a lot of different um, materials. Uh, you know, doesn't just paint canvases; paints other things, and is very talented. And her work, as you could have seen from that card, runs from you know like horror, macabre type stuff, all the way to like cartoons so it's it's really very unique and uh yeah i recommend checking her out if you're on instagram and if you're looking for something like that uh give her a buzz i'm sure she'd be happy to uh to do something for you again no no connections no uh not promoting anything here just really like her art and uh think think she does a great job with this sort of thing So yeah, maybe maybe next year Boris will join Bella, and uh, we'll we'll have a a big old time with that. So Halloween wise, I'd really like to do a video, um, one of my special Halloween videos. I'm running out of time quickly. I got an idea. I'm gonna do my best, but time is getting short, and I'm not gonna promise anything. If that does happen, it will be during the week prior to Halloween. And, uh, yeah, it'll be something special. We will have a special live stream, not this Friday, but the next Friday, which will be the one just prior to Halloween. We'll have our usual Halloween party. Not sure what we'll do yet, other than have some Halloween decorations. Maybe I'll put on a costume. I don't think I will, but <laughs> you never know. Uh, you know, other than Halloween chat, we'll, you know, talk about the usual stuff, uh, Maybe we'll do some like Halloween trivia quiz or something like that, but it's always a fun time of year, especially for for some reason for pipe smokers. Never quite figured out the connection there, but it just feels right for some reason. Maybe it's just because it's a fall holiday. I don't know. Well, I've been rambling. Um, and I can't see my timer, so I don't know how long I've been rambling, but I'm guessing it's been long enough. Um, oh man, this 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 is really good. This uh, brown flake, Jermaine's brown flake, and this pipe is just—it's singing in this pipe. Uh, you know, Virginia's in a in a tall chimney type pipe, of course, always work well, and this is this is wonderful. So I'm gonna go enjoy this. Rest of the day today, oh, I just got like a peppery, like a, like a black peppery flavor out of that. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, plans for today, uh, shopping apparently. You know, we gotta, gotta go get some groceries in and my wife wants to do a few things. So we'll do that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's life, isn't it? Anyway, friends, you all take care. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this to a close. I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe. It helps get the word out. Helps grow the community, which is the only thing I'm interested in. I I'm happy if two people watch me, but let's get the word out. Let's get more folks into the into the YouTube pipe community. With that, friends, have a great Sunday. Enjoy your week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.